it makes sense for this to be an island because on an island you can get. I miss just running trains, bro. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I know. I know what you're thinking. Shit. <laughs> yep. All right, let's get it. Bro, what? What is that shit? <laughs> Did that shit look like, like the prison? Alcatraz a little bit? Yeah, bro. I was thinking that. See, this is how we do. Graphics yeah. on that look nasty, bro. Do you hear it? Oh my god. That's crazy. Bro, we're back. It's like almost like Based fucking Shangri La, bro. Yeah, bro, we're back, chat. We're back. This is back, and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. We're excited the Dark to announce there will be two brand new maps that one. available at launch. Yeah, yeah. I don't fuck with the Dark Aether features and new elements to discuss. I want them to bring like the first ones back, and then Richtoff and Dempsey. Yeah, bro, Nikolai and shit. Yeah, those are the ones. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode, where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, and tons of secrets to uncover. The legacy of zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch, and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations and movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Oh my, did you Plus, see that? Did you see that? Yeah, bro. He just dove backwards, bro, omnidirectional. The graphics on that look crazy, okay. bro. Look at that shit. Yeah, that's nuts. Here, watch him now. Watch him dolphin dive backwards. We'll also be coming to zombies. Plus, oh, that's there are crazy. many additional... Did you see that? Hey. I wanna, they, bro, they better bring back that fucking PhD flopper, bro. Yeah. Zombie-specific features, both new and returning. PhD this slider was a weird. This truly epic return yeah. for round-based zombies. Be on the lookout for more intel coming later this year. Oh, I'm, so I'm that's looking. That's what we got from the reveal stream. Yeah. But it turns out there's actually more detail that we can uncover here. Oh, a, from God. just looking at the gameplay a bit more deeply, but B, also from other material that has released while the stream was going on. I want so double tap back. First of all, if we skim to the yeah. end here. Chat, we got to get double time back. We got you. <laughs> these four characters, these were also posted on the Steam store, and it turns out that this is Weaver, who you will know, this is Grey from Cold War, that's Carver, and this woman on the left-hand side is who some people thought was Scarlet Rhodes, because we got a teaser which was basically a blurry piece of this gameplay, okay? And people were thinking that the red jacket meant that it was Scarlet. It's not Scarlet. Because she also has short hair. It's not Scarlet. She's called Maya, or Maya, I guess, however you pronounce it. Uh, but that means that we are getting a set crew. This has been confirmed. A set crew, bro. Let's fire. I guess that got invited to try out to play Black Ops 6 early. I wasn't invited, so I didn't know. You know what that means? They're going to have their, their voice lines again. Oh, bet. Since there's a set crew. That this happened, yeah. but... Apparently, they have confirmed that her name is Maya, and uh, Treyarch has since confirmed that, yes, it is a set crew. What does this mean? Well, we will still be able to play as operators, so these four are not going to be the only people that you can potentially see in Zombies, but you're going to be able to opt in to play as one of these four, and then you'll get specific story quotes that are the old system of, of character dialogue that we've all been kind of pleading to come back for over the last several years. Oh, yeah. so, that's good news. Oh, yeah, that's good news that we are seeing a non-operator system return, at least in some capacity. It's that an option, but it's great. still, it's great. I mean, it's sort of the best of both worlds in some ways. So I am absolutely in favor of that change. So it's a set crew. It's quite interesting. Wait, look at the weapons, Weaver's bro. Great. Is that a Galil? That kind of looked like one. Yeah, it definitely looks like a Galil. Hey, yo. And Carver are here because we obviously saw... It's just set in 1990s, huh? War, and so this game, presumably several years later, seeing as at the end of Cold War, Peck did the five years later thing, this will probably start off with them having a bit of dialogue between each other, saying, yeah, I mean, this is how we got out of jail, and kind of giving us some exposition. So that should be something to look out for as well. Now, there are several things that I want to sort of point out here. Some of these are very small things. Some of them are bigger things. So, for example, there's some kind of electricity in the back there, and it's just really calling out to me. I don't know what that is, but something that I'm interested to explore once we get into that room. And this kind of looks like a perfect 
work machine to me. Very hard to see, obviously, but kind of looks like it. It's also confirmed that we're going to be getting two round-based maps on launch. So this is only Let's go, baby. Maps. That's never yes, heard sir. of, bro. Two round base at launch? What? When See, does that ever happen? That I like, bro. I like the yeah. round base. Round base is where it's at. I might not even be on the game like that. Might just oh, be a zombies shit. guy, eh? Oh, shit. <laughs> bro, like Black Ops 2 zombies, bro, with the shotguns and shit. Like the, the emblems, the ranks, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. Like, bro, that shit, I was stuck. That was the, I think BO2 was the best zombies. Let me know down in the comments what you think the best zombies was. I, I gotta say, this logo that we get is so juicy. <laughs> BO2, yeah, for sure. Kind of looks like I'm people, about... people like Black Ops 3 zombies. I mean, it was all right, bro, but Black Ops 3 literally was like, Call of Duty is infamous on fucking, excuse my language, on taking other people's ideas. Like, Black Ops 3 was Titanfall COD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's, I didn't like it. I like Black Ops 2, bro, Advanced Warfare. Yeah, that's what we're The Exo Zombies was not really it. And as we talked about no. even just a few days ago in one of my leaked videos, and if you missed it, make sure to subscribe now so you don't miss those in the future. But this is the island map. So what I was talking about in that video is saying that it would make sense for this to be an island because on an island you can get. I miss just running trains, bro. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I know. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> scale like exploring the whole island while still having it be relatively contained like it doesn't need to be the entire continent in order for you to kind of feel like you're really roaming around a lot of open space like an entire island is just always going to feel Wait big right like even on Zetsubo we're not exploring the entire island so cool to see that the island sort of ideas and the leaks that we had there are indeed coming to pass this part of the island is really giving me like Call of Duty World War battery vibes. I think that was the name of the map. And you've got this massive cannon as well. And this is something that we saw in that other clip. So we'll come back to that in just a second and dig through that clip in a bit more detail. I also really love the fact that they've got this sort of zoom through shot that they've got going here because they've confirmed that theater mode is returning in the game. And this feels quite theater mode Like this feels like a theater mode dolly cam shot. So. I kind of wonder if we're going to have theater and zombies as well. I really hope so. That would be amazing. But somewhat TBD at this point, we will see. And I think it's also worth paying a little bit of attention to what everyone's wearing and the guns that they have. So this is a 74U type weapon. Uh, we've got some other ARs on the right hand side here. An LMG. This one's more of an LMG actually. And then this is the shotgun that no doubt is going to end up being the meta shotgun as we play through the game. <laughs> Quite cool that they just the trench the gun. guns here. I'm glad they did yes, this sir. Some crafts or something and make it look almost too arcadey i think that a little bit of realism here is actually somewhat appreciated it feels a little bit it feels a little yeah. bit more like they're not just trying to milk transactions straight out of the gate and also it's really interesting looking at all the different zombie types so you've got these yellow hazmat suit zombies which make me think that maybe on this island there's some kind of nova 6 experimentation happening like this is another one he's actually got a gas mask on and the full yellow suit so it'd be interesting to see if Nova 6 does play a part in this game, or if this is just Ethereum experimentation that's happening on this Terminus Island. Bro, that so looks like a map that, that we've had before. That we're seeing, yeah. is that like a multiplayer like a map. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's an advanced warfare map that I'm thinking of. You know what I'm talking about? Like, just bouncing all over the place. And it looks just like that map. I've seen it before, I just don't remember where... Like, what the fuck is it? Like, what exactly is that? Because it's got this this green little top to it, but I'm wondering if it's just like a little bucket or if it's actually something a little bit more interesting. If we scrub through some of the earlier parts of the trailer, we see oh some more zombie types here. So once again, you've got yellow hazmat dude. Bro, that is a zombie, bro. Bro, yeah, that is literally... Blown. Bro, Tim. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> but that is you, bro. That is, <laughs> that is Tim the Tap Man as a zombie, bro. <laughs> that is dead on, bro. <laughs> What? Is that motherfucker wearing armor right color? there? Armor? Nah, he looks like a on soccer right. player or something. On the right. On the right? Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a med. He's got a cross on it. It looks like he's just wearing like a uniform. Oh, no, this dude's got some fucking armor, man. Look at this. <laughs> It almost looks like a shock collar. I don't think it is, but kind of looks a little bit like that. So we've got this little fatso over here. I kind of wonder if that's going to be a new enemy type because it's just such a different... Some tells me that he blows up. So we might yeah. be being chased like a by the kind of left dead, big bro. boys at some point in this game. 
And when what I'm assuming is Carver is running through this room here, this bit of purple that we see in the bottom left a little is bit of ether of the sort of stuff that we saw in Cold War. So much of their overall. I really hope this game is like a little bit anti Cold War, bro, because Cold War was all right, but it was not yeah, Black Ops it. 2, Black Ops 3 zombies, bro. No, it was <laughs> definitely not. It, not. Bro. It was all right. Etherification or dark etherification of the play space, like we saw in D Machine, for instance, is definitely going to be coming back. That's just going to be an arrow pointing us in the right direction. But interestingly, we know that gobble gums are returning now, and obviously there's this machine. Yeah, gobble gums are coming back. We got the little probably gobble gum machine over there. Yeah, bet. Gobble gums are all right, but ah, I, I didn't. When that game came out, I, I wasn't feeling them. <laughs> no, I feel you. Back right here, which I don't think is special. I feel like intel. they try to do like perks 2.0 type shit and yeah, yeah, yeah. They, fell it's through. almost like it's too hard. Yeah, they, and they're, they're trying too yeah. hard. Yeah, they're definitely trying too hard. <laughs> they just need to. I feel like sometimes they just need to go back, like yeah. maybe upgrade the quality and and graphics and take a couple steps backwards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> machine potentially but sort of hard to say <coughs> but the fact that there's going to be this sort of dark ether writing and presumably dr monty's influence is back now and there are these cells as well which is pretty interesting the sort of terminus holding cells but that makes me wonder right from a story perspective how are they going to be meshing dr monty and the vanquishing of dr monty in the ether story with dr monty's gumballs presumably and then the new dark ether presence which seems to have sort of overridden much of that stuff that's just gonna be an interesting challenge for them to kind of deal with from a narrative perspective and some of this also is them really trying to showcase some of the new movement systems that they've got in place so obviously we've got a slide happening here but then someone is lying down on their back and they've been sort of scooting backwards and shooting Bro, so you can what? see their legs out in front of them it looks like i don't think this is a downed player i think the zombies wouldn't be coming towards them in this way if they were a downed player so i think that they're just kind of on a little scoot backwards there and also something uh, like what happened here is he did a dolphin dive backwards and he's on his yeah. butt he's on his buttock shooting at tim the tap man <laughs> i think it's worth pointing out is that it looks like this character thing is maybe using a flamethrower so if i go back and forth in the gameplay here you can see the beam rotate bro what really he's good. using that elon musk flamethrower up there you see that it was, <laughs> God damn. It was like a, flame it was like a flame that's a torch bro yeah. <laughs> that ain't throwing flames bro that's heating up dabs <laughs> <laughs> These might be a thing, or that's a player using a flamethrower. It's kind of strange because, as you can see, as I go through the clip, the zombies lift into the air, and one of them actually just disappears. Like, there, before, after. <laughs> before, after. It's kind of a weird glitch that's happening in the background visuals. So I don't know exactly what the deal is, but the fact that it appears that there's some kind of flamethrower being used, and it's maybe causing some kind of ignition here, is a cool little detail that... I think would be uh, worthwhile me pointing out and, and sort of showcasing for you guys. I see some Shangri La well. right so maybe there. Maybe it is a zombie. That's what I'm I saying. I just saw some Shangri La type. Mm -hmm. Okay. And maybe you can blow up the backpack of the zombie to cause it to explode and cause all these fireworks. Yeah, you see, you see that clip? It, was, it looked just like Shangri La in there. Yeah. That's what I was saying at the beginning. The it kind of gives me those Shangri La vibes, to cause bro. It to explode. Right, like, I just missed it again, but. Is a zombie. They need and to they bring something that we uh, can That do right there looks like Shangri La. All of the Call of Duty maps, bro. You can blow the up the like, they need to do something like zombie that. to cause it to explode and cause all these fireworks. And then we see this trap, and this is actually weirdly a trap that was no. leaked. So this trap was talked about. A deck cannon trap was talked a about. A death cannon trap. Bro, that's right out of Star Wars, bro. <laughs> they're just touché, touché. They're shooting beams, literally. <laughs> And so to see it in the trailer here is sort of no surprise. Seems to be firing dark ether Bro. energy. And I kind of have to wonder, like... I, I bet you that's part of the Easter egg. Yeah. I'm positive that's part of the Easter egg. It looked like shooting them into the dark ether. That's crazy. What exactly are they building this for? Like, why have they built a dark ether cannon in this Yeah, way? it's a dark what ether could cannon. possibly be in the water nearby? Like, what kind of kaiju-type boss enemy or something could be out there roaming around that would need us to have these sorts of cannons. Dude, it's fucking sure Godzilla. Don't need those cannons for regular warships. It's Godzilla. Reason, right? Ah, bro, so, you, bro, you know what? It could be like, like Firebase Z a little bit. What's crazy That's is what Firebase saying. Z was weird with that big dude, but that was also 
the best round base on that map on that game. Yeah. Like that one felt like a little bit old school COD. I don't know. I think they need to take the trials out. What do you think? The trials I feel like some people love it. Yeah, some yeah. people like me, yeah, you can go get you a, a, an orange wonder gun for free, but like where's the fun in that? Like I'm trying to go build yeah. it, find all the parts, duplicate yeah, exactly. it. <laughs> Or, or gamble with it, get it from yeah. the box. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm down. I want to just be able to get it at round five every game. Like they need to make yeah, it no. harder, bro. I remember when level forties were like top of the leaderboards, like worldwide yeah, leaderboards. Bro. You went to like forty on day two, you're like number one in the world. Like yeah. I'm trying to get back to there. We got all these cheaters and going to like two hundred thousand <laughs> like what yeah no shit focus in on throughout this is number one obviously it's great that round base maps are coming back but number two it's still very early days and all things accounted for this is about 12 seconds of gameplay so it would be really worthwhile maintaining a level head and keeping neutral expectations i would say so that we don't end up getting disappointed by over crazy and over enticing marketing campaigns which then lead to disappointment as we've seen several times with games such as call of duty vanguard which had the worst yeah, zombies bro, mode in history vanguard but... zombies that like i think i played one time and i never touched it again i was like what yeah, is this I, like this is not i think i watched you play that one time and was like nope yeah. i'm chilling actually and then modern warfare 3 which set up really in an exciting way and then ended up disappointing players as soon as like january rolled around pretty quickly. outbreak was all right and then they were like, oh, no, there's too much round base going around the x field. We got to uh, knock that yeah. off. Yeah. There's just like 200 fucking zombies getting ran over by cars and sentry guns. And they're like, oh, you guys are having too much fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got to oh, nerf shit. that. There, it was just dead. So I want us to celebrate the wins here, celebrate the operators being... Yeah, I, I feel like Black Ops 6 might redeem us because... Crew with dialogue if they don't, I just did. might have to be an next defiant guy the now, man. <laughs> seemingly oh, oh, game but game they're, already, potentially... they're already taking notes, and they are one to copy Titanfall and Apex and all these other games, so I don't see why they're not going to copy X Define a little bit because they copied them just old school. Yeah, no shit. They 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 know what we want, bro. Like, they know we want to go back. COD's like, no, no, no. We're we're pushing you forward, bro. <laughs> yeah, no shit. We're trying to give them nostalgia, bro. <clears throat> yeah, but they gave us nostalgia. All the old maps, MW3, Modern Warfare One, all the like. But the game itself, the maps were nostalgia, bro. Not the game. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's not enough in a way that it works. makes the game more fun. That's I feel like most... simple sometimes is better. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. like, that's, you can't go prone in X-Defiant. That's dope. Yeah. There's no snaking. There's no drop shotting. Those are There's both no gone. Laying behind a corner. Right? Yeah, they're just, they're, those are both out of the question. Like Simple. You don't have to, No one can abuse it. Nobody can do it. Like, yeah. Exactly. TBD one, so maybe don't celebrate it too crazily just yet. But then also celebrate the fact that round based is coming back. They're marketing round based as well. They know that people are excited for it. Round base, baby. We're back. 